it's proven science that dirt travels from a horse's neck through its body. So if you clean the neck, then the rest of it just becomes instantly clean. That's just basic science. So, where is that? Where did he say the thing was? I wasn't paying attention. What did he give me? What was it called? Moonshine, there we go. Bridge in blue water north of Saint Denis. That is Saint Denis. Go to Moonshine, drive careful with it. Blue water north of Saint Denis. All right, let's go. Hey there, friend. How can I help? I'm not your friend, buddy. Not your buddy, pal. <laughs> not your buddy, guy. us a gator while we're out here. Hey, you're okay, girl. Competition. I love friendly competition. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Hey. Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Let me grab my varmint rifle. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Oh, yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> Maybe you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? Really? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're do but first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for... Oh, trying to cheat your corners, huh? Oh, <laughs> you got a damn good shot, mister. Here you go, as promised. 
Thank you, sir. I earned that Thanks, ten dollars. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Oh, I bet. Last time I made ten dollars that fast, I said something about Twitch Prime. Got two subs. Simply squared and King Tataurus, Mr. Sir Blackness and White Male 420 and Clinuts and X Hefty. Woo! Money! Magna Red Perino, thank you for the sub as well. Yeah. How do you get your horse to stop making that god awful sound? <laughs> really annoying. Unless she has a sinus condition. Wait a minute. We're in gator country. I need me a gator. That's a perfect one. Got him. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Do I need a carcass? I think I need an alligator carcass. No, it's just the skin. Whoa. There we go. Alligators have feelings too, not this one. This one's not feeling anything. I shot it in the brain. Alligators got little I tiny know, brains girl, too. Just give me a second. Fine, Olivia. Just tell him to shut up. Listen, you some bitch. You kill. You're making my friend nervous. Now stop hissing at him. Alligators so ornery. They're so alligators are so ornery because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. What's over here? Salted meat. Canned peas, bourbon. Coffee, fruit. Lotion, predator bait. Is 
Anything else I missed around here? I'm not stealing from the poor, I'm just borrowing from this person. Thank you, Mad Mark, for giving out 10 gifts. So American Red Fox. I do need a fox at some point. What is, is that a bear? What the hell's a bear doing here? Okay, I gotta survive a bear attack. It's part of a true achievement. What's a bear doing in a swamp, by the way? Bears hang out in swamps? Like I've never thought of a bear with a heavy ass coat in an environment like this. I need him. I needed him to attack me. I don't think he was going to. Well, I got my bears. What's the next uh, achievement or challenge? I mean, kill five cougars with your bow, then skin them. Cougars. All right. I'm gonna need five of you to give me your mom's number. Six seven five three oh nine. Isn't that Jenny's number? I thought that was Jenny's number. Wait, is your mom Jenny? It was so funny. Back in the day there were actually people that had that number. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Wrong, sir. That the snake bite feather again? What the hell? You won't believe it. I got bitten again. What? It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. Okay, I want to suck it out of you, sir. Hold on. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, hold, hold on. Going for it. Oh, God. Never again. Oh, you so much, mister. Don't get I bit again. Twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. I'm gonna eat a stiff one tonight. I just had a stiff one. I'm done. That's it. You ain't getting another out. How could one person get bit by so many damn snakes? Easy there. Let 
American Bullfrog. I have that one already. Oh, you want to live in a pine box, do you? Sorry. I didn't mean to hit you, target you. Easy now. What is that? Vanilla. <gasps> oh. It must be completely normal and not kinky. a bunch of gators I need to find me a, a snake somewhere pretty sure to have a bullfrog don't need it for anything we gotta find us some snakes snakes are so hard to spot because they're so tiny Sorry, I... that was nothing like that song. Wait, wait, wait. Coyote, nope. Bullfrog, gator. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Where was it? my varmint rifle with me where is it it's somewhere over here ah. nope that one was him Calling ass. Wait, where the hell is he going? It's a twofer. That's not the one I'm chasing. There he is. That wasn't him either. Fine. 
things happen. He ate my damn hat. There's my hat. Yeah. I just got eaten by a gator. I am a little disorientated right now. I do need me some boar hides eventually. These berries over here. If, if these are, I need, to eat, I need to eat them. Yep. Hopefully, it's level two. Why is Dan so obsessed killing animals? I'm not. It's just part of the game. Hunting is a massive part of this game. So many of their uh, yep. things to be able to require animal hides. Actually, two star boars should give me perfects now. There if that trinket works the way I think it does. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. Okay, who is do shouting about gods? What? No, it doesn't actually. Okay, Must be the woman in the swamp or this uh, yep. house over here. Come, come okay. And speak with me, shall you? Uh, I may not speak the whole truth, but I speak some of it. Hi there. Hello, voodoo lady. Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? Sure. What the hell? Two dollars. This is now the time of machines. The time of things. The time of man came and went as all things pass. As all things pass, my friend. Okay, thanks. Travel safe. Uh... Okay. That was not worth two dollars. I want my money back. Come to me. Come to me. And I don't want to kill her. She probably curse me. Guys, look so boring. Are you reading your Facebook profile? Yeah, that's your life. Now, where's this shine? Let's see. Big ass goose. Easy now. Um. There is. There's no one here. Who we got here? Oh, there it goes. Let's put on our mask. Alright, for Robin, I'm gonna my bolt action rifle. And then the repeater.
Mine now. It's mine. It's mine. All right, now we get this back to the guy over here. Well, go ahead and loot first. Seventy-eight cents? Are you kidding me? Fifty-four cents? What the hell is going on? Hopefully the gold wedding ring sells for a decent amount. I don't know what this guy wants with a hundred gallons of moonshine. It's probably gonna be very, very bad. There's enough room on here for two. It's gonna be tight. Okay, fine. There's nothing illegal about wearing a mask. You can wear a mask all you want, though. People think you're weird, but... Did I miss something? What do you mean? Yeah, Mad Marv gave out 10 gift subs earlier. That's why you're a gift sub. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Wait, what? It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Uh. What did I do? I didn't realize he was inventing the electric chair with moonshine. Excellent, excellent. I like how he calls it humane way to kill people. Electric chair is not is not humane. That shit is nasty. So I marked it.
I know. I thought he was. I thought he was making an engine. How many of you guys thought he was making an engine or a car or something? But no, it's electric. I wasn't expecting that. It came out of nowhere. Just admiring your horse. Out of the damn way. Hey, mister. Morning. Morning. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you. That's for sure. Well, that's oh, fine, sir. That's by the fine. looks of you, <laughs> ought to be in this cage instead of me. Morning to you. Keep to your damn self. Can I help you with something? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, be damn stupid wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. What? Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh... It'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. 50? All right. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Uh, how, who are we gonna peacefully dispatch public? I don't, what the? So we're gonna have a public execution of an electric chair? I, maybe get a volunteer? Come on, girl. Hello. Hi there. One thing I don't understand this time period is how do these people like look up random facts that that, that don't matter? Like you're watching a show and you're like, you know what? I wonder what Jennifer Aniston's net worth is. What movie was she, uh, what other movies has she been in? Man, did they have that type of weapon back in the time period? Hmm. Tell me about Cthulhu. Stop right there and face the law. Out of you. Not my problem. Yeah, you just shut up. <laughs> if you can give me luck, I'll take two of those actually. Howdy. Howdy, Potter. Howdy. This is very pretty, but I've never been like, I've never seen this type of lighting in real life. It is pretty though. Hello. Hmm. 
Looks like you need fog and some. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So. The chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. <sighs> McDaniels. Wait a minute, J. McDaniels. J. P. McDaniels? Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. <gasps> the final piece Adam of the puzzle. Scruffy Beard. Oh my god, this is a JP. Off you go and fetch the man. His kindly and noble executioner awaits. What? What does it mean, improper husband? Did, did he do Let's a horse? Go, girl. He must have did a horse. Watch oh, out, madam. Professor is. I should see what's over here. Some stranger quest. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, a formal area. What is this? Bonjour, monsieur. Algernon Wasp. Howdy. Howdy, ma'am. Hello. Good morning, sir. Oh, he's so polite. I like it. Howdy. Hello, madam. Bonjour, monsieur. French. You should be careful who you speak to around here. Just... Take care now, all right? Adieu. I don't know why I just told her that, but okay. Oh God, what is this going to be? One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. Wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? <laughs> How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? 
Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Thank you, Cryosis, Top Head, Dyro TV, Yitzi, It's Bob Time, Black Hole Sun. Thank you for subbing, guys. You know, kind of want one of those hats. Those hats look nice. Where the hell did he go? Thank you, don't be bad for subbing. Is that nothing but sewing stuff in there? Something in there. Come on! Open! Damn it. It's funny you're helping invent the ledger chair uh, due to the fact that Edmund Zagorski is going to go on the chair today. Yeah. First use of the chair in five years. Oh. I didn't know that was happening. Wait a minute. What happens what if I don't this? complete the quest? Does the electric chair not ever get invented? And then today changes? All right, I need to run back to the bathroom real fast. I'll be right back in just a second. Don't forget to follow, and I'll be right back in just a second. All oh, right, I'm back. So cinematic, I know. Let's see. Good morning, mister. Hello there.
All right, where was this guy that I had to capture? He is... I have to capture a criminal, right? Oh, he's... Emerald Station or Emerald Ranch, I should be way closer. Just teleport over there. Well, thank you. Can you go back to the bathroom? We're middle. We were in the middle of talking about you and stuff. Wow. Well, that's just rude. Hey, you help a fella. What are you doing, What are you trying to do? I can help a fella out. I got you. I got you, don't worry. Come on. <laughs> I know you got some money. <laughs> You're drinking mm. out of the bottle as <laughs> you get yourself some real food, huh? <laughs> Listen. You have to take this. Ooh, that's real kind of you. Thanks, sir. I lost my money playing poker. Oh. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh. <clears throat> Real? <clears throat> hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, well, keep that in mind. Hmm. Well, maybe I will just uh, take a look-see at that. La, 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 get my money right. Get my money la, right. La, 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 la. I can't Use your get eyes. my money all night. La, la. Do, 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 do. So there's something above the gunsmith that I could rob. Keep that in mind. Wait, what is... Oh, here we go. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. <laughs> it's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. The exhibition is through there, if you can call it that. Wow, I just what? don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Warning. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. What's wrong with his face? like it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Uh... Painting is not that interesting. We'll miss the party. Oh, I can have a cigar. And another one. And another one. Hurry up, will you? I don't know why you're so flustered. And another one. I don't what is going on? Um Okay. I think that it's Greek. Morning. Or could be Roman. All I see is big titties. <laughs> All these paintings look familiar. I don't know. You know, it's Italian most likely.
It might just be from someone over in Blackwater. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa. It's just a terror. It's making me blush. What the? Whoa, now. Whoa. Holy. Oh, my. This. Sir. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, mm. it explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day what? she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. <laughs> A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. Woo. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave it. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Well, I got them all. Over here. Rich people go down in one punch. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Why did you do that to all these women? This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition. What I, I, I have so much it goddamn money on anymore. <laughs> that it was not. I'm sitting on thousands of dollars. Nothing to spend it on. Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Get out. I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no. You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. What is the point of this? Mm -hmm. Oh, not horseback? Okay, I'm coming. Watch yourself, partner. Watch yourself, madam. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. <laughs> Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> I've already customized all the guns, Ruby Rocks, with all the upgrades. As I said, I have nothing to spend the money on. I have. Three thousand dollars in my pocket, and I bought everything. All the outfits, the weapons, the guns, the upgrades, all the camp upgrades, everything. Money is worthless right now. Was I doing? Oh yeah, we're going to uh, that place before. Out of the way! You crazy? Out of the way, buddy.
take a ride. Got more ranch. Poof! Fellas, want to play some dominoes? Care for a round? Sure, play some dominoes. I got I got a pair of sixes. And that goes first. Nope. Well, let's say there's no points on this one. Or are there points? Do I do you still oh, get points for place and stuff? So six, uh, 12, 15, no, thir uh, 15, the five on the outside if possible. That's all I got. Hmm. Oh, this first one to finish wins. That's right. It's a different game mode. It's all good. It's all good. Get rid of my three pair there. Okay, then. Pass. What? No, 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 no passing. Gonna have to pass. No, not me. No. What? No. Nothing. Pass. Pass. All players passed? What? Nothing but scraps for you, friend. There ain't much here. Next round. Target score is 60. I know, I guess we all lose. Alright, 6-6. Six, six. I got 6. It's such a weird game. <laughs> This would be dreadfully 